spring is right around the corner, and for many, that means spring cleaning. News 2's Temple Ricky joining us now live in studio. And Temple, a local professional organizer, says spring cleaning shouldn't be complicated. Brad, I spoke with Amy Kay, and she says the trick is to just make the inside of your home feel like spring. When you think about spring, you may picture colorful flowers, a clear sky, or the smell of freshly cut grass. You walk outside and you think of fresh air, the sunshine, flowers are starting to bloom again, and it's very energizing. So you want to feel that same way when you walk into your home. To recreate that feeling, you need to do more than just mop and wipe down the counters. If you haven't done a really good deep spring cleaning in a long time, you're going to have years of stuff that has piled on. So if you walk into your home and you still see coats and scarves and boots and sweaters and all that layer of winter, you're not feeling that energized emotion that you do when you're outside. Take your closet, for example. Pull everything out, assess what still fits, what you would want to wear next year. If there are things that you don't want, you don't think you're going to wear again, now's the time to get rid of it. You can also apply this method to your kids' clothes. So this is my baby's hat, and I know this is not going to fit her next year. So instead of keeping it, I'm going to put this in the donate bag. Place what you'd like to keep in a bin, label it, and store it away. And then in your closet, it will be empty if you've taken everything out, and that's the time to clean it. That will remove any dust and allergens that have built up over the winter, and then when you put everything back, it will have that extra sparkle that will really make you feel amazing. Some great tips there for you. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for part two of this spring cleaning series where Amy Kay talks about some low country organizations who can really benefit from your donations. Live in studio, Temple Ricky, count on two.